हेलो एवरी वन दिव्यांका हियर फ्रॉम आर जर्नी एट होम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट इन मैथ्स कॉल्ड सबिटाइजिंग सबिटाइजिंग इफ यू डोंट नो इट मीन्स आइडेंटिफाइंग नंबर्स इन ग्रुप्स और चंक्स इट इज द एबिलिटी टू सी अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड नो हाउ मैनी देर आर विदाउट एक्चुअली काउंटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट्स so that can be done using a dice if you have or even these dot cards if you don't know subitizing is a very fundamental skill for understanding of numbers and how the numbers work together so this skill is taught in kindergarten and first grade and i think even second grade because it's a very basic concept which teaches identifying numbers counting on the numbers composing that is addition of different numbers and decomposing that is subtraction of numbers so let's start so to teach this concept to my daughter what i have done is i have prepared these flash cards if you can see these are diy flash cards and for this what i have done is i have taken a card stock paper and then i have used these dot stickers and placed the dots randomly as you can see on the card and then i have punched it together into a ring like this so for the beginning i have started with numbers from 1 to 5 and we have been doing these numbers from the past 2 months and she is getting better at it but it takes time to grasp this concept so these are the different flash cards and we don't do it regularly i mean we don't do it daily but uh, i try to include it at least two to three times a week so she is over the concept and as you can see the numbers are placed very different differently so this is 1 and 4 then this is 3 and 2 then this is a typical 5 then this is 2 and 3 then this is 2 and then 3 in vertical position then this is the number 4 so the child when learns the subitizing concept he understands to see the numbers that these object represents so in this card if i hold it like this this a card represents a number 4 but some children might visualize it very differently so one kid may say that he glanced at the card and looked for the number 4 and one kid may say that i first looked these two numbers and then these two so 2 and 2 made a 4 so that is the first step of addition some kids will say that they first uh, looked as 1 2 and 3 and then 1 so this is 3 and 1 that makes a 4 so there are different ways that you can look at the single card and it's not right or wrong but it is how you identify it and how subitizing skill helps for understanding of numbers and then composing and decomposing for addition and subtraction so i wanted to talk to you guys about these dot cards that i have prepared so these are very helpful in for my child right now because we are up to number 4 not yet started with 5 but up to number 4 she can identify them very nicely and so this is the basic and once you are done with these uh, dot cards you can go up to number 10 in my opinion and beyond that it will be too much to identify so uh, after number 10 you can go for 10 frames and also you can uh, do variation in these activities like you can ask the kid to say one more or one less than the number that represents on the flash card so if this is the number 3 then you can ask the child tell me an tell me a number that is one more than the number on the flash card so first step he will have to identify the number that is on the flash card then he will have to think one more number 
and then he will have to tell you the answer so that will be number 4 so you can do variations in these activities with the same set of flash cards that is the dot cards one more one less and if you are working with older kids you can do 10 more 10 less or complete a 10 so say suppose if you are using this ask the child to complete or make this number to a 10 so if he sees 1 and 4 1 and 4 makes a 5 and if he wants to complete this number up to 10 so he needs to add 5 more so he will tell you that to make a complete 10 you need to add 5 more to this number so in this way you can play various games out of the same set of flash cards and i thought this might interest some people I don't talk a lot about maths on my channel but I don't know why I really love maths and my daughter loves it too so we do various activities around maths and basic concepts so I will be sharing a lot more in the coming future I hope you like this video if you do please share like and subscribe to my channel and do follow me on all the social media accounts i will be sure to share all the links in the description box below thanks for watching bye